been known as the funny girl. For more than 50 years, you don't expect much to come back to you in return, at least not now. I was Miss Blackpool, 1964. But I was sick of being tied down to the North. I didn't even go back on stage to collect my crown and award. I knew family would disapprove, but I had to move closer to the capital. My dreams of being a funny girl had begun. Little me introduced to a whole new world. No longer Barbara, but Sophie Straw. A new name, new identity, gave me something I thought I could never be. The words said on the telly aren't really reality. Engaged to the actor and then married a producer. I tried to climb the ladder and mend a bridge with my mother. What was she even doing after that live show? A taxi was waiting for me to go. I flat shared a while, then moved into my own place. A stone's throw from where I was working at the studio. I've now had children and now got grandchildren and often am alone. I find myself to be a widow and part of a revival. Who knows at my age if anything can now be available. Many children that are born don't have a fair shot at what's promised and sworn. Some have to work ten times harder through no fault. It's because people feel they have the power and see it as a joke. Picture yourself as a cross or a naught. If I were one, I would be distraught. If I were a cross, I would have power but no control whatsoever. If I were a naught, I would worry about everything, the wind, rain, any weather. When the communities could think about coming together, bombs, murder and hangings happen as easy as a bird losing a feather. Do you believe this is a faraway plot? Is it something that we should think about a lot? Wait until I tell you about Eva Snow, an outstanding woman who's far past the ordinary, has always been able to whip up the extraordinary. Escaping jail, a life sentence upon her shoulders, catching a sibling after being punched and kicked through the parents' front door, at a chance of a job and a life far away. What a shame Eva Snow couldn't write her story her own way. She might have, she might not. I'm not revealing a huge amount of the novel plot. Pick it up and with a flash, Eva Snow and the children will take you by the hand. They'll show you love no matter who you are. Eva Snow has a golden heart. A family company taking the tracks from the streets of London to have the north wind at their backs. Wanting Shakespeare to do the work, but a child magician makes the cast hurt. 
they come upon a widow in a struggle keeping alive the family home bill. The lady's children have run off in the care of a wealthier relative. Their mother is surprised and not immediately devastated. Then the voices and songs of the theatre come knocking. The ever-growing mind of a workhouse girl is determined to get their place rocking. Fellow people amongst the town have fallen. Local people had possessions stolen. Several people fight in the corner. But by the end, there's a few who'll look a lot shorter. There's still a few upon their tails. Will that cause the Steam Whistle Theatre Company to hit the rails? A bump on the head and your friends aren't your friends. You're left wondering about the mists and clouds and question how much your family is around. Your husband says you need to rest while your daughter is doing everything to object. A bump on the head and your family knows best. If they think you should take a nap and rest, they don't expect you to put up a test. A son has unexpectedly married, meaning there's no need to buy a new dress. You watch your daughter parade herself. Others have no problem witnessing the nonsense to impress. A bump on the head and all might seem the same. Your family and friends may seem different in the next couple of days.